Frederick is the third entry in a series of rhythm-based indie games, featuring modern renditions of popular classical music from some of the most iconic composers in history. These remixes combine New Age, Electronic, Rock, and of course classical genres to form a unique, inspiring sounding collection of songs. You'll definitely recognize a fair amount of melodies in this game, even if you aren't that familiar with classical music as most of the original pieces that Frederick draws upon are extremely common in popular culture. So the game plays out as a series of musical duels between Frederick Chopin and another popular composer. There's an evil robot who time travels and possesses these different composers, turning them into cyborgs to fight Frederick. It's a super simple plot, but kind of assumes that you've played the previous games, as you don't really know much about the robot antagonist, who seemingly played a big part in the other games, and we also don't really know much about Frederick himself. So after the opening sequence, I have to say I was pretty confused. But since the story's purpose is just to provide some goofy, cartoony context to gameplay, I think the lack of backstory can be ignored. However, the idea that the player is assumed to already be familiar with the trilogy of games comes up again once gameplay actually starts. There's no tutorial. And while a rhythm game is somewhat self-explanatory, there are a few different power-ups and bits of the interface that aren't so intuitive. Fortunately, there's a solid gameplay guide that can be accessed from the main menu, and it explains everything that you need to know. But it would have been better to force the player to go through these instructions before jumping into gameplay. As a result, it took a lot of attempts for me to figure things out when I first played the game, and it's really not that hard once you know what you're doing. So like I said, gameplay is pretty straightforward overall. Depending on your platform of choice, buttons will obviously be different, but the goal is to time button presses with notes that roll down the screen and land on a virtual piano. The better your timing, the more points you get. A battle meter at the top of the screen determines if you beat your opponent at the end of a song. For every note you hit successfully, the meter increases slightly, and if you miss a note or press the wrong button, the meter goes down. To win, your meter has to be more than halfway full, which really isn't too difficult to do. But for an added challenge, you can try to get three stars on a level, and that requires your overall accuracy to be close to 100%. So I played this game on PC, but it's also available on the Switch, and from what I've heard, it actually plays much better on the Switch. Reason being, you can use the touchscreen instead of a physical keyboard, and that makes it a lot easier to time presses, and feels like playing an actual piano to some extent. Even though keybinds can be customized on the PC version, I found every configuration that I tried to be pretty awkward. I'd definitely like to try this game out on the Switch sometime just to see the difference. So one thing that you absolutely can't ignore about Frederick are the crazy backgrounds in each level. Every backdrop is filled with tons of detail and looks like something out of a Where's Waldo image. There's just a ton of random stuff like pizzas and monkeys all over the place surrounding Frederick and his opponent as they pound away at the piano. These backdrops are static for the most part, but the camera pans all over them, zooming in on different cartoony characters like panels of a comic book. Somehow though, I wasn't really distracted by all of this. There's just so much going on that it kind of all blends together, and when you're focusing on the keyboard, you don't really see it. So I'd say aside from being a rhythm game centered around classical music, which I think is kind of rare to begin with, these crazy background images also help make this game unique. With only 9 levels, Frederick isn't the most substantial rhythm game out there, and after seeing what its developer has done with the previous games in its trilogy, it doesn't look like it'll be getting any additional songs in the form of DLC. However, what you do get are some solid tunes, straightforward gameplay, and artwork that took a ton of effort to make. By converting a lot of old classical compositions into our current era of music, Frederick might lead players to appreciate the classical era just a bit more. Thanks everyone for checking out this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any suggestions for future reviews, please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, until then, stay tuned for more reviews and thanks for watching.